from below to above average. A very remarkable occurrence was simultaneously happening both in my life and that of my immediate younger brother, Dapo. Two years after my first academic failure, Dapo got religious all of a sudden. He had always been the quiet one amongst the nine of us. From his primary school days, Dapo was a less than average student who always got promoted to the next class on trial. From about his third class in secondary school, he got religious and would read his Bible and pray every blessed day. The more he did this, the more we discovered that his academic performance was improving. Soon after, he had moved from being below average to being an average student. Dakwa was a class behind me then. And in 1982, when I sat for the ordinary level examination, he had started leading everyone in his class academically. He miraculously moved from below average to far above and beyond average. In 1983, we both sat for the ordinary level examination and that we had five A's and two C's. So that means five distinctions and two credits. I passed two, but with eight credits. I had to include both commercial and art subjects this second time around. I haven't realized that I had no flair for science-based subjects. Somehow, I strongly believed that that was newfound faith was responsible for the great switch in his intelligence. He moved to the university that same year while I kept rewriting the matriculation exam year after year because I kept deceiving myself that the only course good enough for science students was medicine. The lesson here for young ones reading this book is that you should know yourself, your abilities and your competence. You should know what you are sincerely good at. Never try to copy others in what you do. Instead, be yourself and become what God wants you to be in life. Do not try to become like some other people as I was trying to be. Know where your strength lies and face the reality. The third time that I sat for the university matriculation exam, I decided to choose a commercial course, economics. Unfortunately, I missed the cutoff mark as I would not be able to gain admission to study economics as I hoped. Dakwa came home from the university one of those days in 1984 and told me that he dreamt that I gained admission into the university that same year. You know what? I believed him. I believed him because he believed in God. I believed him because I knew he had Jesus in his life. I believed him to the extent that I told myself that even if I did not sit for another exam, I was going to gain admission into the university that year just because Dakwa said it. I really admired the type of person Dakwa had turned out to become because of his belief in Jesus. And so, I made a vow to God. I promised him that if truly he could make me gain admission into the university as Dakwa prophesied, I was going to give my life to Jesus also, just like Dakwa. After this time, I was told of a new course, Demography and Social Statistics, that Obafemi Aolo University, Ilefe, I just started offering. They brought the cutoff point for it low to encourage candidates to study the course. I jumped at the offer since I was desperate and tired of spending another year waiting at home. True to that was prediction, in November 1984, I got my letter of admission to Obafemi Aolo University, Ilefe to study a course 
I knew next to nothing about. Yet, I was excited at the possibility of the admission, finally.